Hey guys, Dan here with another Currently Reading. Um, something I want to throw out there before I get into what books I'm reading. Um, my nine haters who absolutely hated, they gave a thumbs down to my Not Good Enough for Booktube video. These people seem to be more concerned with my wardrobe and my background when they should really be concerned as to whether I'm wearing pants or not while I'm filming my videos. I think that's a bigger concern than my wardrobe or my background. But enough of me being silly. I finished reading The Color Purple. Um, I'll put a card here so you guys can check out that review. I, I kind of like had a lot more I could have said about The Color Purple. Like, um... I totally forgot about mentioning why it was called the color purple and it had to do with, you know, connotations with God and God makes the color purple because, you know, he's trying to get everyone's attention and I totally forgot about mentioning that and I also wanted to mention like the, the race relations and that's why this one character reacted the way she did but I totally forgot about putting that in my video. So, um, I started reading... Daniel Key's Flowers for Algernon. Um, this has been on my TBR for a very, very, very long time. And um, I was kind of prompted to read this again because Roya over at RG's Devilship, um, she did a review of this and she thought it was pretty darn good. So I figured, you know, I might as well get around to reading this. And I'm like almost halfway through it. Um, it's about this mentally retarded guy named Charlie Gordon. Um, I don't know if it's not PC for me to say that. Mentally handicapped, whatever you want to go with. But um, he was born with a really low IQ and he basically volunteers for this procedure to make him like a super genius. Well, not. I mean, he just wants to be smarter. He doesn't know he's going to become a genius. But yeah, um... It's kind of awkward because it starts out like it's written by a low IQ person, like the way the words are spelled and everything in the language. So it's kind of tough to get through. But once you get, I think, like 40, maybe 50 pages in, the language is really normal at that point. But it's just kind of, it's just different. I really don't know what to think of it. I don't know that I'm going to do a book review of this or not. Because I really don't know what to think of it so far. Um, also, I am reading Rat Queens Volume 3, Demons. I literally just started this, so I really don't know anything about it. I just know that there were a lot of uh, ratings on Goodreads where people just did not like this as much as the previous two volumes. So I'll have to, you know, read it and see what I think of it. Um, I probably will do a review of this just because it's such a significant uh, series that's, you know, popping up here and there on BookTube. So I figure I should probably review this one. Um, also on my Kindle, I am reading The Wicked and the Divine Volume 2, Fandemonium. It's kind of interesting. Um, I really enjoyed the first volume. And I'm kind of reading the second volume kind of slow just to see what I think of it. Um, I'm liking it so far. And I'm also reading on my Kindle app, I'm reading Norden Holtz Million, which is about this, um, this asteroid that, like, crashes on the Earth, and it causes this blight where it just destroys all vegetation on the Earth. Uh, one thing I have to add about that book, it was... It was copyrighted in 1923, so it's a very old sci-fi story. <clears throat> Another one, you know, where the language is kind of, it's kind of, you know, so, kind of hard to get into. Um, but after reading it for a while, you know, I, I really don't know what I'm thinking of that one either. So, that is what I am reading currently. Um, if you've read any of these questions, comments, or if you want to drop me um, a comment about what you're currently reading... Feel free to do that. Thank you for watching. Until next time, later guys.